Welcome to my store. Okay, so we got some pants to fix. We got a cleaver. We got a window. That's all we need. Okay. Basically, when I bought the house, it had uh, these windows, single pane glass, etc. We repaired them, uh, replaced them with good windows. Okay, so start getting around the edges. Just make sure you don't hit it this way. And then you just pry it off. take the uh, sharp off the glass. Okay, so this is like fresh cut glass, you put it in the frame, you don't really have to worry about it. Okay? Mm -hmm. So you got the glass here. Lay it out on the table. If you have a bigger table, it works better. <laughs> but uh, this does work. Get your glass cutter. And hang on a second. You get something with a straight edge, okay? So, you want to cut your piece? Find a something to measure with. Find a magic marker. I like to be organized. I really would like to be organized. Okay, see this marker off? A little dot. A little dot. Okay. Cap back on so you can get everything black. And then you put your plastic on. Where did that go? Oh, there's the dot. Okay. I'm only blind on Tuesdays and Wednesdays. And Thursdays and Fridays and Saturdays and Sundays and Mondays. But I'm not blind the rest of the time. Okay. Okay. So then you kind of got to hold this. So what I always do is sit on this end. That way, you kind of take your glass cutter. This is one of those handy dandy ones. It wiggles, it's got oil in it. So. Just score the glass, and that, okay. And then you just take the glass, you put it on the edge of the table, and you snap it down, okay. At this stage, Take a file, you can use a rock, you can use pretty much anything. I sometimes use rock. For the professional, this is a diamond file. See, that way, you won't cut your arm up. Okay. If you use a diamond file, you get a much prettier looking edge. If you use a rock, you get little flakes and chips, okay? Kind of like in there. So, the diamond file doesn't do that. And then you want to make your next cut. So, this has one of those rubber backings, does move around a lot. And it's easier than that. Uh, that's good for when you're cutting the big piece. And when you're just cutting for uh, the little ones, this one's going to be six by eleven. Mark your dot. Always check to make sure that the glass cutter actually is lining up with your dot. Okay? Okay. 
Why do you go over the edge? You go over the edge because sometimes if you go almost to the edge and you don't go all the way, you'll get a little tick out of it, okay? So that it won't be uh, perfectly square. Now, if you turn it upside down and just press. Are they cool? That's pretty cool. See, there's enough give in the wooden table that for thin glass, that works too. If you got inch and a half thick glass, that ain't gonna work. Inch and a half thick glass, you get all your buddies to sit on the one side, you snap it down like that. Okay? Okay, so then you wash this glass, and then because this is from my house, and the house is like built in the 50s, there's hard water drops on the glass. There's, there's drops of dried water on the glass whatever minerals were in the uh, water when people were spraying the window, whatever. So I usually find it best to soak this in a mixture of CLR for a while so that uh, the glass will go back to being just plain, clear glass. Okay, because otherwise you look at it and it's got these little smudge marks and stuff like that and uh, that doesn't look good. Sometimes you have to take a razor blade and shave it because it gets some kind of a gunky film on it too. Okay, so. That's how you cut the glass, and we'll go upstairs and uh, we'll patch the bags, okay?